Okay. Good evening, gentlemen. My name is Brian Roberts. I live at 21656 Northwest State Road 16 as well, right down the road from here a little ways. Um, one of the things I wanted to bring up tonight is some of the hydrogeological aspects of this project and some inconsistencies that I found on the website of, of HRS2. And, um, and also I've spoken with a few people within the uh, Department of Environmental Protection. I spoke with Katie Collins earlier today. She's in charge of handling the uh, request for additional information that was just submitted to them last week. Um, one thing that she did tell me, and one thing I think that should be brought up here, is that they have 30, 31 days to respond whenever they have received a submittal, typically. They're actually asking their department supervisors and the state for an exception in this case because they basically got buried in paperwork. They got several hundred pages on the RAI that was submitted last week. <clears throat> so I believe the tactic there is to just bury them in, from, in information. I don't know how it has been handled with you gentlemen as well. But uh, some of the inconsistencies that I noticed um, from their own reports that were available online and also the permit application that was online here in Bradford County but is mysteriously no longer there. Um, <clears throat> but uh, some of those inconsistencies happen to be uh, the fact that uh, on their website they noted that they would be digging only in the Hawthorne group layer. That's the layer of soils deposited around this area. It contains the 26 that the young lady just mentioned a few moments ago. Um, and that in they would only be digging in that Hawthorne layer. Now that Hawthorne layer also includes the intermediate aquifer that is present throughout most of Bradford County here and uh, presents itself at the property where I live at Hillbron Springs as the only listed um, artesian spring boil in this particular county. Now an interesting fact about that is that just recently, back in February, when we were in the middle of a record drought here, we started noticing that the creek, Water Oak Creek right down the road here, was presenting itself much clearer than it had been previously, and we had a lot more water flow, and as well from the boil, there was quite a bit of water flow coming out where usually in a drought like that, it would trickle down to nothing or dry up completely. Um, I spoke with um, Warren Zwanka, with the Santa Fe River Water Management District and he explained to me the Brook Sink project that they had just actually completed and how that created a large lens of water as they're dumping their 330 million gallons of water into that sinkhole. Uh, what that did was effectively create a lens of heavy water that increased the pressure of the entire aquifer in this whole entire region. Now that's 14 and a half miles away from this property. This proposed mine site is 10 miles away. So give me just a moment. I, there's a very important point I'd like to bring up. It speaks to this consultancy as well. Um, they're looking to dig down into that layer that contains all of our drinking water in Bradford County. Now one thing on their website it says that they would not be touching the Florida aquifer and they state that the Florida aquifer is where our drinking water comes from. A very quick web search on the Santa Fe Water Management District website shows you that you know, since 1999 there have been 1,667 permits for wells less than 50 feet deep. That does not touch the Florida aquifer, that is in the intermediate aquifer, which they call the, the uh, phosphate zone, the phosphate horizon. That's the, the prime area where they're gonna be mining for phosphate. Uh, that compares to 40 wells in the same period of time since 1999. So that's 1,667 versus 40 deep wells that were dug. That tells you that the majority of people in Bradford County get their drinking water from the intermediate aquifer, which they plan to be digging 60 feet into. Now, if there's a lens 14, feet, 14 miles away that's increasing the head pressure, then what's going to happen when we dig a 60-foot trench right in that same area? That's where the water is going to go. All the wells around here are going to dry up. Who's going to pay for that? Uh, this is the economic devastation that these people have mentioned it time and time again. We need water. Most of the people here are in a rural county. They drink water from wells. If those wells dry up, where's our water going to come from? Gentlemen, I am asking you, you have the power to turn this down. You don't need to be, DEP doesn't need to be mired and ankle deep in paperwork. Shut it down. We don't want it here in this county. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen.
people and fun.